Welcome to Trivia with Amy Klobuchar. We're joined by our one and only contestant, Senator Amy Klobuchar. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, and our first question for you tonight is, how tall is James Madison? James Madison was five foot four. That's correct. Second question, if there was a Dr. Seuss novel written about your electability, what would it be called? Uh, I have won every race, every place, every time. Not bad. And now our final question. Who is the governor of Kansas? Kansas has a woman governor right now, and she beat Chris Kobach. And her name um, is, I'm very proud to know her, and her name is... Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Senator, you are out of time. Thank you. Welcome to 2020 Tuesdays. I'm your host, Luke Radel. The number one issue for Democratic voters is health care. It's a complex issue with a myriad of different problems and facets, and there are many statistics to analyze to look at how Americans feel about health care, or as Tom Steyer put it, This is not a complicated problem. Tuesday night's debate stage was pretty well divided between moderates and progressives, at least as it related to the health care issue, with three of the candidates, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Tom Steyer, supporting a more progressive Medicare for All agenda, and the other three candidates, Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, and Amy Klobuchar, supporting the more pragmatic Medicare for All Who Want It or Public Option proposal. The Medicare for All plan supported by Sanders and Warren would look to make health care a basic human right provided by the government taken out of the hands of the private insurance industry, while moderates would rather allow people to choose whether or not they want to hang on to their private insurance or opt in to a government health care system for a plan. So while it appears that the Democrats are split over where to stand on health care, the Republicans are pretty united behind the current president, Donald Trump. And one thing that Donald Trump does not have is an actual health care plan. When it came to the issue of health care on the campaign trail, Donald Trump had a pretty simple phrase that he liked to use a lot. Immediately repealing and replacing the disaster known as Obamacare. But when it came to his actual plan for what to replace Obamacare with, he was thin during the campaign trail. But we all found out in 2017 when the GOP House tried to pass one, and well, it didn't go over very well. 24 million more would be uninsured by 2026. So look, maybe leaving 20 million Americans uninsured is a good idea, I don't know. But I'm just saying the Democrats should probably get their act together, or else we're going to end up with four more years of Trump care, and I can't even imagine what that would be like. Thank you so much for choosing us, Mr. Radel. We are Trump Care Affiliated Hospital, so please let us know if there's anything you need. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, all tissues are an extra $5 copay. Hi, I'm a doctor, I guess. You guess? Aren't you like nine years old? Listen, I'm a doctor, okay? I even have a degree from Trump University! <laughs> Are you looking at? Look, I'm recommending that you use these crutches for two weeks. You do understand that I just hurt my arm, right? Who is the doctor here? Oh, by the way, this isn't covered by Trump Care, so you're gonna have to pay in full. And how much is that? One million dollars. 